Hello there once again. This time we've got a brand new radio which has come in for a service. As you're probably aware, some of the radios would perform better when they're brand new if they were serviced prior to being put into operation. And this radio is a Superstar Lord. And it's a very traditional looking radio. And when you turn it on, oh yes, that's one of its other tricks. You have to put it on what, um, it's at one of these multi-norms, but it doesn't remember where you left it like most of them. So every time you switch it off, you've got to dial in once again where you were. Right, well we're on channel 20 for the test equipment. It's a very nice looking set this, so I'll be interested to see how it performs. It's uh, come from Goodwill Telecom Engineering in China and it's clearly intended for the Spanish market because that's what it boots up on. Fiberglass printed circuit board. It's got a, one on the front there with a couple of adjustments, whatever they are. And then you've got the main board. So we've just put it on for UK, as you just spotted. Incidentally, that's achieved by the AMF switch going into the centre position and then switching the radio on. But as I say, it does not remember what you left it on, so you have to do that every time you switch it on, which could be a pain. Right, let's see what we can do with the transmitter. And... Uh, Sets wandering all over the place, the mic lead's quite stiff. Right, I've gone into transmit and it's actually doing three watts on our test set. So I've made up a diagram here. I have got a circuit diagram in the in a download of the instruction book, but it's such poor resolution that unfortunately I can't kind of blow it up and make it useful. So there's a circuit diagram, but it, it, that's really poor resolution. So I could do with a better one, but there you are. This is what, what happens with new sets till there's more information comes available. It's a bit of, um, of guesstimating. Right, well, the, looking at this circuit, that's clearly the VCO. There is a test point, but there's no point in going through with that. I've no doubt that it's working perfectly as far as that goes. The first coil there, L113, second one there, L121, the third one there, L114, I suspect being the transmitter ones. So I'll just, uh, I've got my test set into the right position, and we'll just see whether we can make an improvement from the three watts we're getting. Going for the second one, which is L121, and the third one, which is L114. There's no improvement there. There's a preset here for power, it says power high. I presume if we turn that we all get the four watts. I'm absolutely correct. Well, it's doing three and a half anyway. I'll just go through my, um, I'll just turn that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn that down and I'm just gonna try and go through these um, transmitter adjustments again, it's on the driver. Yes, I just can just do a little bit better. It's on frequency, it should be 27.79.125, it's showing 27.79.121, so that's absolutely fine, as you'd expect from a new set. Right, I'll just try and turn the power back up again to four. Yeah, three and a half. I don't think there's any further transmitter adjustments, so I think that's uh, that's what we're going to get. But these... The thing about this test set is commercial test set that I'm using. When this says it's three watts and four watts, these are real watts. These aren't good buddy watts. You know, you can go and buy these um, uh, relatively cheap power meters, and uh, I'm sure this read would probably read seven good buddy watts, but these are real watts. So it's doing three and a half, and that's about what you'd expect. Right, uh, now we'll go through the deviation in just one moment. Now the deviation for transmit I'm 
don't know what the number of the potentiometer is, but it's that one there. It's next to that crystal. We're looking at that one, and that's actually labelled FM mod. So hopefully we'll be able to turn that up to the two and a half that we would like to get. So I'll just get my little oscillator out and drop it on the bench. That's reading pretty low, actually. Um, yes, we're only getting about um, one and a half on that. Wallow. Wallow. In fact, we're only getting two with it set on full. Such as some of these modern sets that they don't like you to adjust them, even how we think they should be. Wallow. Actually, I can just make it um, la one two. <whistles> yeah, I can make it do two and a half, so that's fine. Right. So the next thing we need to do is to set the power meter. So it's a conventional meter, and it's saying we're doing in, into the middle of the red zone. I'm just going to turn that down slightly because we know this set's actually doing just over three and a half watts. So hopefully I'll find the right adjustment for that. Now according to my little sheet I made up, the transmitter that meter adjustment is that one there. This, 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 looking towards the back of the set, there's two. You've got the ceramic filter there, and it's that one there, the one towards the back. So I'll just key it up again, and just see if I can turn that down slightly. And the answer was yes, that's fine. Because we're in the UK, I can't test anything on the AM side of this, so that will remain untouched. So that's definitely an improvement for the customers, a little bit more power out of it, half a watt more than we were getting when it was um, straight out of the box, and the deviation is turned up to where we'd expect that to be. So we'll take a pause, and the next video will cover the receiver.